I'm so excited because I'm finally going to get to do some gardening at my new location. So stay with me. My basic plan is to work until dark and get as much done as I possibly can. Now I'm not going to repot trees today, but I'm going to try to reboot everything with compost and set up my water with my chlorine filter and pot up some smaller plants. So I brought my concrete hose holder from my house because Renee had given that to me and I wanted to hang on to it. Renee was the gardener who helped me very first in the very beginning set up the garden and take out the grass. And this is one of the many things he gave me. He also gave me this pot, which he found buried at some property he worked at. So I'm gonna hook this up. Ow, ow. I can use my Boogie Blue plus chlorine filter. It seems like it's working if the water's on. What I first want to do is take some all-purpose fertilizer and put it on all of my plants because they haven't had any for months and they're all in containers. And when you have container plants, you have to feed them. Guess what? You have to feed them just like you have to water them. Water, food, it's just basic. So I just wanted to use up what I had. I had fertilizers. These are organic fertilizers that I had a little bit in one box, a little bit in another box, and I'm just mixing them up and I'm going to put a spoonful around each plant. wrong with giving your plants some compost especially when they've been in a pot for a while and I don't know any compost that's better than either your own or biodynamic compost this is from booze blend I am working in sections because my plants are kind of grouped but spread out I've had a quarter of a bottle of this sitting around forever and these plants need it. Now I have to water them well.
didn't even notice that I put that on wrong. So now I gotta fix it. The last thing I'm gonna do in this section one, we'll call it, is I'm gonna give some iron to my two citrus trees here. This is a kefir lime, and it's prized for its leaves rather than its limes in Thai cooking, and it's just starting to explode with blooms. And this looks really good, but the Kalamundun lime behind it doesn't look so great. The leaves are kind of yellow. The iron might help. You really should give citrus iron like a couple times a year. So I'm gonna give them a dose. This is a very slow release. Little pellets. look really good and they're doing really well and I'm gonna leave them alone for now they're gonna need to be potted up pretty soon so that's all I'm gonna do for section one and section two which is over here right now and this comprises one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven thirteen pots in this area Actually, that was 14 pots down there. Now we're about two-thirds of the way back along this 
corridor, which I have named Rose Alley. I only have one rose right here, but I have turned that over to the rose expert who lives here, who has all these beautiful roses, and you'll be seeing rose videos coming up on my channel, so stay tuned. Now, if you are just new to my channel, I have been an urban gardener and had a channel on urban gardening for eight years. And just recently, I sold my home where I had my beautiful late bloomer garden 1.0, and I am in a transitional space now, living in an apartment building, and there is a very avid gardening community here. We have limited area to work with, but there's going to be a lot of content because most urban gardeners have limited availability of space. So here we have my Kishu Mandarin and my Heirloom Rose. Back here we have my two blueberry bushes and over here we have my apple tree. Now that looks worse than anything. So today we're going to basically do the same routine for everything that we've done. We're giving them fertilizer, we're giving them a bath with fish fertilizer, watering, and potting up some small plants. You can't really blame this apple tree because it was transplanted from a pot a year ago into the ground and then it was dug up and put into a pot and brought here. I think it's in shock. It did bloom and there are three little apples on the tree. Berries like all berries like more of an acidic soil and amendments. I don't have that right now so I'm just going to give this a little bit of a bath in the fish emulsion and some compost. <laughs> By the way, they're ripening. If you missed that video, I use red boil on my berries so the birds don't get all of them. Isn't that gorgeous? eat it now <laughs> before it tastes like fish.
that was already cracked and I was afraid I was going to do that. Okay. is root bound, root bound. And that's why we're doing this. to try to salvage so the great thing about citronella is you can just stick it in a pot and it'll grow this is also called sweet geranium and it smells so wonderful and it's supposed to repel mosquitoes These pieces of clay you can break up and put in the bottom of bigger pots. So I'm going to hang on to them. because I'm a little tired and I think I'm going to call this a day. I just wanted to point out some of these pots that you've seen. Those plants were established in those pots for a while. Some of them were dumped in there very quickly, dug up, planted and brought over here. So they're in all different phases. When Eric and I had our work days, and I, if you're new to my channel, please go back and watch my workday videos. I have a huge playlist. And Eric, my handyman slash gardener, would work with me and we would get so much done. We could make as much noise as we wanted and as much mess as we wanted, but I live in a community now. As I work, I am going to clean up after myself because my plants are spread out all throughout this corridor, which we're calling Rose Alley, because that's the predominant species. <laughs> I've got to pot up tomatoes, and so just look forward to another day of this. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching this channel, liking my videos, and especially sharing them with your friends. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please watch these. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video.